I told myself that I wasn't going to tell you guys. I told myself that I was going to keep an element of surprise and that I was going to keep it, you know, kind of to myself. But I'm really bad at keeping secrets. <laughs> guys today is going to be a crazy busy day Kenley has back-to-back -back therapy sessions she has speech therapy because if you haven't noticed my child's not very talkative and then she has physical therapy plus if you're on my social media you saw that I made homemade paint yesterday and I'm really hoping to have fun with the girls and uh, let them paint a picture and hopefully it'll be fun because Carly is kind of weird about stuff being on her fingers so I don't know if she'll actually, you know, have fun with it and play with it and that kind of thing, but I guess we'll see. Kinley will probably just eat it, but it's totally edible. Everything that I used to make the paint with is totally edible, so, because I knew this would happen. So it's not a big deal. But I'm going to do what I always do first thing in the morning, and I'm going to check baby's heartbeat, and then I'm going to take a shower and just wash off my hair, because I just don't have time, and I'm afraid my girls are going to wake up. So I'm just going to wash my hair and wash my body real fast and get out, and then we're going to have breakfast. Baby's heartbeat was a lot faster than normal. <laughs> Usually baby's heartbeat is somewhere in the upper 130s, lower 140s, but it was like in the upper 140s, lower 150s. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a really quick shower now. No blood today, I'm so happy because yesterday I kept bleeding a lot of really dark red to brown blood. And part of me was kind of scared because I was like, oh great, now I'm gonna bleed really bad either when I wake up in the morning or tomorrow or something, but so far, so good. No blood, and I've had no serious bleeding since last week. I hear Carly. She's awake. So, I have no time to do anything with my hair except put it back in a gross ponytail. And this is gross because my hair is wet, so you guys are about to see a real pretty side of me. And you guys thought I was pretty in my last day in the life vlog. Ooh, I just keep getting prettier. Good morning. While Carly's using the bathroom, just real fast, real, real quick before I get Kenley. Look how big. I got this maternity shirt when I was pregnant with McKinley. Do you see how huge it is on me? This is what I meant in a pregnancy vlog. I just can't remember which one. When I said that all my maternity stuff is huge. Okay. That's what okay. I meant. Good morning. How are you this morning? She's excited. Do you see what Carly did to her crib when she was this, this age? Yeah. I wish that we could do something like like sand it down and restain it. I wish. Are you hungry? It's breakfast time. Breakfast time. <laughs> She's all clean. clean. All clean. You're all clean too because you took it upon yourself to change yourself and go potty like a big girl. Yes, big girl. I don't know if you guys have noticed a theme with Carly over here. Bubble Guppies, Finding Nemo. She loves fish, which is so funny because your daddy loves fish. And I don't mean like a little bit. Like Devin wants a really big fish tank. I've never understood a fish obsession more. But guess what? Guess who also has a fish obsession? Uh-huh. His daughter. Awesome. So I'm thinking about um, making her room like fish themed, like Finding Nemo themed whenever we move next year. Because when we move, it's definitely going to be a three bedroom. And it just depending on the sex of this baby, if it's another girl, then we're going to let um, McKinley and this baby share a room. And then she'll get her own room. But if it's a boy, of course the boy will get his own room and the two girls will share. But regardless, I think I'm going to still uh, 
doesn't matter whichever situation it is. I think I'm still going to do a Finding Nemo theme for her room because she really loves fish. Do don't you? Do you see? You're thirsty? Okay, let's go get something to drink and I'll make breakfast. I didn't realize we were out of juice, so I'm going to have to wait for this to defaw so I can make some juice. So I gave the girls, they're getting some water instead for now. And Kenley will drink that just fine. She's a happy girl. Carly, however, this will be fun. Oh my gosh, I'm poisoning her. Oh, she's dying. Oh my gosh, it's water. Seriously. Okay, it's going to be right there if you want to drink it. Okay. I finally get to sit down and eat. Mommy apple. Mommy's apple. The girls have been eating for a while, as you can see. I just gave her a fruit Mommy cup. Mommy apple. It's almost grocery day, so I'm kind of running a little low on fresh fruit and vegetables and stuff like that. I have a honeydew, but I really need to cut it. I'm just lazy, and cutting honeydew is very um, time-consuming. But I'm going to eat. It's about 10.27 right now. And uh, McKinley's therapy starts at 11.45. So, and then it won't end until 1.45 because she's got back-to-back -back sessions. So I will just see you guys right after that. Therapy just finished up. It's about 2 o'clock right now. Kitten! Oh my gosh, my cat's insane. But she is very excited to start painting. I made these paints yesterday. If you follow me on social media, you're aware of this already. But I'm really hoping that she'll play with it. Do you want to paint? I put on an old onesie and some old pair of pants on her. Carly, do you want to paint? Go ahead. Good job. Go ahead. Blue. Carly is usually really weird about stuff touching her fingers. She wants stuff wiped off. If you can't tell, she's wiping it off of her. Go ahead. If you can't tell, she's wiping it off on her onesie. And there's not a whole lot that's getting on her finger. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's why I put on play clothes. <laughs> that's why that onesie and that pair of pants, that's why they're old. Go on. That's yellow. Yellow. Every time. Yeah. You can go ahead. You don't have to ask my permission, sweetheart. Yellow. Green. Yeah. Green. Blue. That's a pretty picture. Let's show everybody your pretty nice. picture. That's very nice. nice. Nice, yes, nice picture. Good job. Good. You can paint. <laughs> Put it on the paper. In case you guys are wondering, McKinley is laying down for her nap. So that's where she's at. She won't lay down for another half hour. Are you done now? Do you want to paint some more or are you done? You want me to put them away for next time or are you... You want, you want to keep going? Paint more? You don't have to. You don't want to? Are you all done? You want more? Oh, that didn't last very long at all. You want to show everybody your picture? Yeah. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. Here, let's put it down. That's beautiful. Isn't it pretty? Good no. job. That's very good drawing. All done. <laughs> there you go, Mom. Put it, put it away. It's 2.30, and it's time for someone to go night-nights. Night-night. Love you. Night. Love you. Night. I know you want to go night-nights. Love you. Night. 
Well, fine. Okay, fine then. So both girls are napping, and by this point, you guys know in my day in the life vlogs that when both girls are napping, I edit video and I relax and try to be on bed rest. But before I do all of that, I told myself that I wasn't going to tell you guys. I told myself that I was going to keep an element of surprise and that I was going to keep it, you know, kind of to myself. But I'm really bad at keeping secrets, <laughs> and I'm just so excited that I want to share my excitement with you guys. This is why it probably won't take long for me to do my gender reveal after Dev and I find out what we're having because I want to tell you guys and I want to share this with you and I want to share my excitement, my happiness with you guys because I know, or at least most of you, I can't say every single person, but I would say most of you are just as happy and excited as we are to find out what we're having. But we are finding out if baby is a boy or a girl exactly one week from today. I'm not telling you what time or anything like that, but <laughs> in exactly one week, we will know if baby is a boy or a girl. We are in the week countdown, and I am so excited. I really hope that this week just flies by. I am just dying to know if baby is a boy or a girl, but I thought that would be something exciting for you guys to know and for you guys to kind of be on the lookout for and be watching for also. If you follow me on all my social media, I'm sure there will be also a countdown leading up to the days when we'll know. Like the day before, I'll probably say something. On Saturday, I'll probably say something. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm very, very excited and I really can't wait. So it will probably be on my social media. So if you don't follow me already, those links will be down below. But I hope you guys join me in the countdown for when we will know if baby is a boy or a girl. It's five o'clock, so I hear my children. Good. Well, hi. Hi, Kenley. She says, hi, Mommy. You ready for some dinner? Huh? Today is leftover day. This is Carly's from yesterday because she barely ate yesterday. She ate like a couple bites and didn't want anything to do with it. So I said, fine then, then we'll just have it tomorrow for leftovers for dinner. So that's Carly's. This is Kinley's. This is from a couple days ago. Uh, that's going to be hers. She'll eat the leftovers of that. And then mine is the rest of what's in this crock pot, which is mostly just a bunch of potatoes and some corn and one pork chop. So I guess I'm just going to have a crap ton of mashed potatoes. So that's dinner for myself, dinner for Carly, and Kinley's eaten. And Carly wants to sit right by me today. Yeah, the cat scratched her. That's what that is on her face. Because somebody likes to hold and pet the cat and aggravate her to death. Little cat meow. Yeah, because yeah, you like to aggravate the cat and she scratches you and you wonder why. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and eat and I will see you guys very soon. I'm really not feeling good. I'm feeling very, very sick for some reason. Like, really nauseous. Um, so I'm going to lay down. And I just don't know how much vlogging I'm going to do once I lay down. I'm 17 weeks and 4 days pregnant. Oh my gosh, I have never, ever, ever been nauseous this late in pregnancy, ever. So this is new. And I don't know why I'm so sick all of a sudden, but holy cow, I could throw up. Whew. And of course, I can't vlog right now because... um. The girls are on the other side of the coffee table, and when I lay down, like, you guys will be able to see them. So if this vlog ends up being a little short, I am so sorry, you guys. Just heads up. I'm really sorry, you guys, but I'm just gonna have to end the vlog really quickly right here. I am not feeling good, and it's not going away. I'm really, really sorry. But if you don't already follow my social media, make sure that you click all those links down below so that you can be on Baby Gender Watch. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on Friday. Bye.